好，二零一三年第九条题目有关于免疫力嘅，去到二零一四年咧都有类似嘅题目。而家啦，我哋先睇下幅图先。呢幅图咧讲紧三个小朋友 A、B、C， 佢哋由出世去到一岁期间咧，佢哋身体入面嘅抗体水平嘅变化。A 呢个小朋友呢，佢嘅抗体系嚟自于阿妈嘅，初头好高，跟住跌跌跌跌跌。B 呢个小朋友呢，佢打咗疫苗之后呢，佢嘅抗体水平渐渐上升。而 C 呢个小朋友，虽然佢冇打到疫苗，但系佢抗体水平都系上升，不过比起 B 嚟讲呢，就上升得慢一啲。咁成条题目其实考紧我哋呢，四样嘢，第一就系免疫力嘅种类。第二啦，就係免疫力種類嘅一啲例子。第三咧，就係兩常教學生嘅免疫力矩陣。第四啦，就係疫苗嘅原理啦。温一温書先啦。免疫力嘅類型咧，係分做兩大個範疇。第一個範疇咧，就係主動免疫同埋被動免疫，呢個係一個範疇。第二個範疇呢，就係有關於天然免疫同埋人工免疫，呢個就第二個範疇。咁如果我哋結合呢兩個範疇嘅免疫力呢，我哋就能夠建構一個免疫力嘅矩陣啦。天然而主動嘅免疫，人工而主動嘅免疫，天然而被動嘅免疫，同埋人工而被動嘅免疫啦。而疫苗嘅原理咧喺呢度咧，亦都同大家温一温啦，就系、是、透过翻我哋免疫系统嘅专一性同埋免疫记忆，去增强我哋自身嘅免疫能力。而当中我哋需要打嘅疫苗咧，就系有一啲抗原，而呢啲抗原系能够刺激到我哋身体嘅初发反应。而再有同一款嘅抗原进入我哋身体嘅话咧，就会引发一个继发嘅反应，而啦就令到我哋嘅免疫力咧系有所提升。咁啊，先睇翻 Part One 啦。究竟 A、B、C 呢三个小朋友佢哋嘅免疫能力嘅分类系如何呢？呢条题目考我哋嘅就系个细路哥有冇自己产生抗体，所以你会发现 A 呢个小朋友咧，佢系冇产生抗体嘅，佢嘅抗体系由阿妈嗰度嚟嘅。而 B 同埋 C 咧，佢哋分别都系自己由零开始咁样去产生嘅。咁所以啦，一个好简单嘅道理呢 a 呢个小朋友就係被动免疫，佢嘅抗体係由另一个免疫嘅个体去俾佢嘅。但係 B 同 C 呢两个小朋友，佢係自己制造抗体，咁所以啦，就係被动、主动、主动啦。呢三位小朋友实在啦，如果我哋要用免疫力矩阵去理解佢哋嘅免疫力类型嘅话呢，又应该点样呢？ A 呢个小朋友就系属于天然嘅被动免疫，阿妈去输送一啲抗体俾佢。B 呢个小朋友系透过接种疫苗去产生抗体，所以啦，佢系一个人工嘅主动免疫。而 C 呢个小朋友佢系冇打过疫苗，但系都能够产生抗体咧，呢、这个就系天然嘅主动免疫啦。咁呢一 part 咧，两 Sir 希望深化到你哋嘅 concept。而第二部分咧就问啦，一个初生婴儿。系如何由个母亲嗰树去获得抗体呢？讲两个方法，咁所以你会发现啦，点样可以后天获得嘅天然被动免疫呢？就系、是、书本提及你呢两个啦。第一个就系啲抗体由阿妈嘅血透过胎盘进入去阿仔嘅血嗰树。嗱，留意一下都系嗰句啦，胎盘就系将阿妈同阿仔嘅血分开。而抗体系因为佢本身好细粒，所以可以穿过个胎盘。二啦就系经过母乳去将个抗体传俾个小朋友啦。咁所以答案亦都呼之欲出啦。而 Part B 咧就问啦，点解一个小朋友接种疫苗同另一个小朋友没有接种疫苗嘅话啦，接种疫苗嗰位小朋友系能够受到多啲嘅保障保护咧？咁成条题目啦就系考翻我哋疫苗嘅原理啦。我哋亦都要去理解返初发反应同埋继发反应嘅分别啦。不得不提嘅又係疫苗嘅原理啦。第一啦，疫苗呢係含有一个特定嘅抗原啦，可能係某款病毒、某款病菌嘅抗原啦，佢又会刺激到我哋身体嘅。初发反应，而初发反应最重要嘅就系能够制造记忆细胞，而呢个记忆细胞系去记忆住某一款嘅抗原啦。呢度要提翻大家，记忆细胞系记住个抗原，而唔系记住个病原体。咁为乜嘢啊？就系、是、为咗下一次再见到同一款嘅抗原嘅话，记忆细胞受到同一款嘅抗原刺激。佢哋就會分化同埋分裂，成為製造抗體嘅漿細胞。由於我哋製造咗好多嘅漿細胞，所以我哋可以喺短時間之內製造大量嘅抗體。嗱，呢個答案咧，兩 s 都唔係咁滿意嘅。咩叫製造大量抗體啊？係短時間入面製造大量嘅抗體，應該有兩個條件嘅。
唔係淨係製造大量咁簡單。咁其實今次呢個答案呢，除咗個時間之外呢，兩 s 都仲有另一樣嘢唔係咁滿意嘅，就係、是、有關於記憶細胞。實在呢，真係製造抗體呢，應該係將細胞，所以係個記憶細胞受到刺激之後，佢哋分化成為將細胞。好，又嚟到一點出發嘅時間啦。今次嘅題目呢，就由免疫呢去切入嘅。要問我哋嘅第一樣嘢就係免疫矩陣喺主動、被動免疫、天然人工免疫之間呢四者啦。佢哋會構成邊四款嘅免疫組合呢？而呢四款嘅免疫力，佢哋嘅有效性同埋保護能力有啲咩唔同呢？有一款題型嘅變奏呢，就會問你啦。如果一個人而家戒親，我又驚佢呢有一個感染，咁究竟啦用乜嘢嘅免疫方法俾佢呢？咁你書本都學過嘅，就應該提供一個人工嘅被動免疫，就即係話直接打一啲抗體入去個身體個樹。喺唔同情況底下，究竟邊款免疫力係對一個人？係有較大嘅幫助呢。如果一個人已經病緊嘅時候啦，你仲會唔會建議佢接種疫苗呢？一個路徑就係考我哋有關於疫苗嘅原理啦。疫苗究竟打啲咩入去我哋身體呢？而當中所導致到嘅初發同埋繼發反應又係一件咩嘅一回事呢？當中個抗體嘅水平有幾高，有幾低，能夠持續嘅時間有幾長，有幾短呢？而另一款題型嘅變奏就係問有關於疫苗所引申嘅。道德問題啦，我哋攞人攞動物嚟做測試嘅話，究竟又道唔道德呢？藉住呢一條題目，我想大家明白到呢，擺屙係有好多題目係非常之切身、非常之落地嘅，喺你嘅日常生活已經發生緊。我哋要考你嘅唔單止係生物科嘅知識，亦都可以係道德上面嘅議題。So for two o one three question nine is about the immunity. So in two o one four we have the similar question. First of all, we need to take a look at the graph. It shows the changes in the level of antigens in three children A, B, C. So we can see that from birth and one years old for the child A, the antibodies from mother. At the very beginning, it's very high, but it drops, drops, drops continuously. For the children B, with vaccination, they produce their own antibody. And for children C, without vaccination, but they still produce an antibody. But you can see that the level of antibody is lower. So for the whole question, it's checking four concepts. First of all, types of immunity. Second, example of various type of immunity is what I teach my student. Immunity matrix, and for the fourth one, principle of vaccination. So let's have a very quick revision about the types of immunity. First of all, we have the active immunity and the passive immunity, and we also learn the natural immunity and the artificial immunity. So that's why we can group these two immunities together, active and passive, as a group. And the natural and artificial as the other group, and then we can construct the immunity matrix. And we also need to recall the principle of vaccination. So vaccination make use of the specific defense mechanism, the specificity, and the immunological memory to develop an enhanced immunity in our body. So let's take a look at part one. State the types of immunity resulting from A, B, C. So the key idea is that. Do the children produce their own antibody? It helps us to determine the children they have their active immunity or their passive immunity. For the active immunity, antibodies are produced by our own plasma cells. In the passive immunity, the antibodies are transferred from the immune individuals. So you can see that for the children A, the antibodies from mother. So that's why it is the passive immunity. And for children B and C. They produce their own antibodies, no matter they have vaccination or not. So that's why B and C they are the active immunity. So what about if we use the immunity matrix to analyze their types of immunity? What can we get? So for the children A, they have the natural passive immunity because for the antibodies, the children receive it from their mother. For example, through breastfeeding, it is a natural way. And for the children B with vaccination, vaccine that's something artificial. So that's why for the children B they have the artificial active immunity. And for the children C they do not receive the vaccination. But meanwhile, they produce their own antibodies. They may get infected by a particular pathogen, and then they produce their own antibody to fight against the antigen of the particular pathogen. 
And for part two, suggest two possible ways that the newborns can acquire antibodies from their mother. So we need to recall how to acquire the natural passive immunity because they get it from mother. This question is very straightforward because you can find it directly from the book. But one thing I would like to recall is that the antibodies, they are so small. So that's why they can pass through the placenta to the fetal blood. And it doesn't mean that the maternal blood will mix with the fetal blood. Because what we learn for the placenta is that placenta is the structure separate the maternal blood and the fetal blood prevent them from mixing with each other. Through breastfeeding, the baby can also obtain the antibodies in mother's milk. And for part B, we need to explain why children who have been vaccinated against diseases are better protected than those who have not. This question, we need to recall the principle of vaccination and recall the primary immune response and the secondary immune response. Therefore, we can find the concept from the textbook again. First of all, vaccine contains antigen. And the antigen will stimulate the immune response, particularly is the primary immune response. What is the essential part of the primary immune response? It is the production of the memory cells to remember the specific types of antigen instead of the pathogen. And on the second exposure of the same antigen, the memory cell, they are stimulated by the same antigen and then they will divide and differentiate into antibody secreting plasma cells and then they can produce a lot of antibody in a short period of time so that's why this answer is not that perfect because it doesn't talk about the time period you should also add the time concept in this question memory cells are stimulated by the same antigen to produce a large amount of antibody in a short period of time. So from this answer, not only the time concept, so Mr. Leung is not that satisfied by the answer. Memory cells are capable of producing antibodies. Actually, the concept should be the memory cell, they are stimulated by the same antigen and then they will define and differentiate into plasma cells. And then the plasma cells, they produce the antibodies. Okay, so let's talk about the curriculum mapping in this question. First of all, it starts from immunity. And from the immunity, it can ask you about the immunity matrix. So we have the active and passive immunity, natural and artificial immunity, and there are four types of immunity. And then we can compare the effectiveness and the protection among these four types of immunity. For example, the question may ask you, a construction worker get injured in the construction site. But the question may ask you which type of immunity can help the construction worker to prevent from being infected. Learn that from the concept, artificial passive immunity could be a choice to save him or her because we can directly inject the antibody into the construction worker, fight against any invading antigens. For the second concept, we talk about the vaccination. What is vaccine and what is the principle behind that? So we need to recall the primary and the secondary immune response. Is the antibody level high or low? How long does the high level of antibody last for? Last for a shorter time or it lasts for a longer time? There are also some ethical issues raised from the vaccination. When we are developing the vaccine, we shall use animal or human for testing. Is it ethical? From this question, you will see that there are a lot of daily life issues in biology questions. You really need to observe what is going on around you in your daily life.